dancing in the snow I don't know where we'll go from here hey everyone uh, May 2nd here and the sun was out before but uh, on my channel the sun's always out um, just wanted to show you quickly here now it's starting to rain um, you notice my front bed that I cleaned and um, redid the edges the edge uh, I just couldn't take the uh, the mess anymore <laughs> had to do something about that so um, I figure I'm not too worried about the, uh, the top being covered because I um, I don't know I'm going to keep adding uh, coffee grind and compost to keep it um, like darker looking and um, not yeah not dry and and just uh, flat like the uh, hard surface soil surface that um, won't allow the rain to penetrate won't allow um, I guess air some air in, in the soil um, that you know that dry unhealthy bed look uh, because there's no cover crop um, so I don't know I think that's just a natural thing a natural way uh, kind of look for flower beds in the front of houses around here so I mean that's what I'm used to as well so you just have to keep topping it up um, turning the soil and adding you know fresh rich uh, organic matter coffee grind compost <clears throat> and it should be fine also I'm not too worried about the birds coming and picking you know I mean there's so many so much grass and and other flower beds on the street in the area that birds are eating from I don't think they're all going to you know and then a lot of the, the worms are are too deep for um, the birds also so not to worry like I said you know yeah, I'm not growing veggies here so worm castings aren't um, you know priority it's more <laughs> more the look right the sidewalk is, is right there a lot of people walk by and it's already not the uh, the nicest uh, grass and, and front kind of area um, in front of our house so uh, I wanted it to tidy it up a bit here are the cuttings that I worked on um, yesterday May 1st uh, that I live streamed to promote my vlog um, I have two lilac cuttings which are these two here one and two and um, the rest are rose clippings except for these two um, I wasn't sure exactly what what kind of uh, plants what kind of tree that is looks like a tree of some kind um, so we'll see how they do right now they're in pretty full Sun so I might look that up and see if I should keep them um, in more like a shady area or part Sun and I did not add any uh, root hormone uh, because after my research I learned that um, it's not re uh, root hormone um, is not scientifically proven to be effective um, just a good soil mix uh, of about of equal um, NPK 10 10 10 20 20 20 is uh, is great so I did a, a three-part soil mixture um, of uh, my peat, uh, my microgreen potting mix, which is primarily uh, made of peat, and then uh, th a third of my garden um, soil, like my veggie garden, veggie, yeah, garden bed soil, and uh, a third of my new compost that uh, is now ready that I've also distributed in uh, my front bed and um, veggie beds 
so I'll keep them watering well. Uh, I mentioned also in my video how I prefer the uh, the top, the taller, narrower um, kind of pot, so like water, the big one, one liter, 1.5 liter um, water bottles for cuttings because uh, it allows for, I guess, less soil around the stems uh, or the same amount of soil, just higher taller more uh, vertical length to come up the stem to allow for more kind of uh, more of the stem to produce roots because that's what you want to do is promote as much um, rooting right now as possible and then later on um, once once you got your roots you can transplant into um, a pot that is shorter and wider if you prefer maybe not shorter because the roots will always be there, but um, wider gets um, in a, a different shape that you prefer. I have uh, my makeshift greenhouse uncovered today because um, it's it's plus 10 degrees, over 10 degrees Celsius. Um, not worry, no uh, frost worry, and I also uh, it's not too hot. Uh, in case the sprouts come out, uh, but also to let this nice uh, rain wa uh, water get in there. I also had to water by hand a little bit. I wasn't sure if it was going to rain today, so I had to remove the uh, the top. And here are my mushroom log babies. I uh, reshelved them, and I'm hoping. Uh, there will be some sprouts coming out especially now the more water and the warmer weather um, I had seen some small buds already um, as I was pulling them out of the the water you can see right there a couple I'm not sure if it's uh, going to focus good enough but those are uh, some buds and some are just um, not visible right now on the angle of the camera but uh, we'll we'll be uh, hopeful for some good um, some good nice flush of, of mushrooms sometime soon and I'll cover them back up they should stay in the shade so I use this bamboo thing I found someone was put into the curb um, it's natural and keeps the sun off keeps them in the shade they're supposed to be also I, the sun was out earlier believe it or not so I'm not sure if it's gonna come out again so just in case I'm not able to come cover them I'll just close it now I'll just cover them up now what I also did on my lawn that I wanted to show uh, yesterday, May 1st, I um, distributed a lot of the clay um, chunks that I pulled from from the, the garden beds. I distributed them to um, kind of like potholes in um, my lawn and just crushed them into the potholes so that the rain will break them down and the, the microorganisms will uh, just break them down um, to help level out the potholes a little still have to do some some more but uh, I did quite a bit of that yesterday and I also went around again and um, reseeded <clears throat> um, where I where I saw that squirrels or birds were digging I wasn't sure if they pulled um, the seeds that I recently planted so I just covered I, I reseeded re and covered them right away with uh, containers leaving the tops open for air and, and rain uh, and that is basically it uh, for May 1st and 2nd hey everyone so it is uh, May 5th here <laughs> and I can't believe this red 
cup. I don't know if you remember, that's my only red cup planter inside. Or my only red cup uh, planter period that I'm using. Um, that was over the vent in the kitchen. Finally sprouted this little um, cherry tomato plant. <laughs> wow. It's been like a month. It's almost a month since I planted that seed um, and I, I didn't I didn't think they would sprout I didn't think it would come up but it did and it needs help it's a little bit uh, yellow so I'll probably add um, a little bit of diluted uh, coffee grind some nitrogen for those leaves but uh, yay that's exciting that means we should have cherry tomatoes in uh, in about 30 days all right guys so another sad story here not sure what exactly happened to my basil but I'm thinking um, I put a bit too much fertilizer the um, coffee grind um, I've uh, pruned all the dead stems but it seems like everything is just drying out this this used to be green and it's it's gone to the, like black now so I'm guessing yeah it's just uh, bye bye to that one but on the brighter side of things we've got our baby organic basil ready to start a new chapter <laughs> I want to add to you see you see this is why we uh, always need to have a backup <laughs> see when I had the big rosary uh, rosary rosemary here um, I, I had started a small, I had started this small one, though that small one, I lost the small one here. I think I even gave one away to a friend, so, or, or a relative. So, I don't know, maybe that's part of why I neglected this one because it was just too much demand, too demanding, it was so big and it, and it was drinking so much every day. Um, but. You see, I lost that one after, and then well, I didn't really lose it because I was I, I, when I pruned it. See, that's what I was ha I was hoping to happen with the um, the basil now, but I think uh, yeah, basil's not of the same breed. <laughs> Doesn't work that way for basil, I don't think. But we'll see what happens. Maybe if some some new leaves will uh, will shoot out of the the stems, but I I doubt it. If if the root system is is burnt out, uh, is fried most likely won't happen but um, if I did lose that completely you see I, I was what I still had these two babies um, this I believe this is this is from a is not from that parent it's not a cutting I, I started this from seed from the packets whereas these I started as cuttings and I th think this basil which is not very healthy I might just I might put it in the ground to see if if it will. Um, I've I've put fertilizer. I've tried a lot of things, so we'll see if um, maybe in the ground it'll be happier, or maybe I can put it in a bigger pot inside. But I, I don't really think that's the issue as much as um, it's just organic and uh, not. It wasn't, a, you know, from a good um, a good source, good strain. Um, Whereas you see, this is I think from the same packet, and you could already it already looks more green and and uh, yeah, delicious. <laughs> so, um, but I, I have I don't have any any uh, cut basil, but that definitely works if you if you do cuttings of your basil, um, and then you know I would have had I would have had a, a cutting backup instead of this but I I decided to try some new organic seeds because I wanted to see if they were all going to turn out like that um, so I don't know it's still young we'll see 
it may be, it might, it might, it might not. So it's always good to have backups, have doubles. Um, my parsley here is finally doing very good on the window, southern exposure. Um, the sun barely, it's like overhead here now. It's like just the front row gets it. So that's why you see there's, they're exposed right now. There's sun on them on this plant, right? It's only one plant, right? Yeah. It's only one, um, there's sun on it right now. But it's incredible how long it took to grow inside in this little pot. Um, I didn't research exactly what parsley likes to grow when I was doing that. So, uh, you know, I have to give myself credit considering I just really followed the packet which says pretty much nothing about growing inside. Um, not pH, not, um, I don't know, maybe it says that they need sun. <laughs> but the pH or the, uh, I don't know, the type of soil, like the, the size pot, should you plant them together or not, actually would say that, but uh, I, always, I always plant individuals or maybe not. I think there was a, 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 one, like one or two other plants in there until pretty recently, so that might have been an issue, um, overcrowded. Anyway, you see, I have my backup the baby one there taking slow yeah you see oh there's that oh that's two yeah see i do plant them in in twos or threes so maybe i look that up and see if i should cut one back now yeah i think that's the best choice the best thing to do but uh yeah you always <laughs> need uh backups even if you think it's it's like you can't just think of the produce amount and you know the amount of food because not all of them will end up making it to the table so um you know they might just they might make it to your stomach before they reach the table <laughs> no yeah we, we don't know if it's all gonna reach the table so we have to take that uh take that precaution and uh not you know let time just waste if we lose a plant or two all right so made a salad for myself of ramp and creeping um charlie and a couple of uh, dandelion flowers very very healthy <laughs> All right, guys. I think I found my first ramp. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not too much flavor. Never tried these foraged uh, wild flowers before, and I never tried ramp before. I know ramp's very oniony. Um, so uh, it's supposed to be like chive and onion or something. I taste a lot of onion. I don't know about anybody else. Uh, let me see. I don't remember what chives taste like anyway. We don't eat a lot of those. Maybe there's a lot of chive in there too. Definitely no garlic. Sorry. I don't know if anyone thinks there's garlic in there, but there ain't. So hopefully it's not. Too much flour, uh, too much flavor. I tried to um, mellow the flavors out a little with the uh, iceberg lettuce and tomatoes, but I also uh, sliced very fine um, ramp to uh, kind of uh, mix it in the strong flavor with um, some other salad. No taste on these. On these flowers I don't know why GoPro doesn't zoom up close no flavor let's try the dandelion 
It was nothing. Knowing weeds that I've hated all my life. <laughs> all their weird texture. As you can imagine. A little bit bitter. But not that bitter. I think raw broccoli is a bit more bitter. Arugula. Probably the same family. Mm. Ramps are just bursting with fa with flavor. I think they go really well with balsamic, just like onions. That's my opinion. And the uh, the stems are very fibrous on the ramps. At least for me, they are. So I um I with scissors I chop those even even more fine into them into my plate. Good stuff. First uh, self picked. <laughs> First salad with self picked ingredients. How's that? Yeah. La 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 la. La 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 la. Oh. Wow, look who it is. What's your name, bunny? <laughs> That's crazy. It's so uh, camouflage. I was just walking to get a stick for the squirrel catch and release trap that I'm working on and uh, I almost walked right into it you eating all my my uh, flowers or what? kiss that manjala can I eat you? come here sadiqi hi friends uh, May 9th here just uh, want to do a quick update on my seedlings and um, my potatoes all well, the red potatoes that I'm waiting to bud so this one grew a pretty big one that's ready to go so um, I could probably plant that right after this um, polar vortex we're uh, currently experiencing I'll show you the snow in just a minute else <laughs> yes i'm crying um looks like yeah no, not much happening on the other potatoes here still um but that's okay at least we got one and <clears throat> i had a couple of new seedlings that i had to uh, redo pop up in the last couple of days that i wanted to uh just mention so now i'm i'm only waiting for uh the cauliflower to come up over there and a couple of others don't remember exactly what but I have I have two others in the dark down uh, down below on the floor here um, tomato Roma tomato and oh is it Roma yeah Roman beef that I guess I had lost um, when I put them outside the squash I've gotten their uh, first true leaves since my last video and this uh cherry tomato is doing really good still i b i'm basically lost this uh beef tomato it it struggled since i brought everything outside i guess it just took a lot longer to uh to write itself off <laughs> than the other ones the, the kale and and uh other ones that i lost basically that same day or the next day I know tomatoes are stronger so took uh, yeah put up a good fight and uh, looks like it's not gonna make it but that's why we uh, we uh, prepare ourselves and have backup um, I tried to cut a couple of these uh, basil to, trying to root a couple of cuttings of the uh, basil plant that I lost see what happens with that I my prediction is they won't they won't root but 
Well, I'll wait and see. Oh. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Dun dun dun. <laughs> so I have a ton of these trees growing this year. So if anyone is interested, let me know and I can mail you some. <laughs> um, so when I was turning over this bed, uh, I found a bulb from last year uh, I forgot the name now gladiolus bulb and so I replanted it and um, the squirrels just keep they, they go dig it up and um, and uh, I don't know determine that it's not for them and then just leave it dug up without anything so it still hasn't sprouted I don't know if it's if it's gonna work uh, still not not sprouting I don't know uh, I think I know you have to like people normally so I put a rock now that they can't take it out but yeah I, I know people normally take them out for the in the fall I think I don't know if it's the frost or or it, it, it didn't mold I, I think that's an issue more than the frost I could be wrong but I know um, rotting is an issue and it hasn't it, it, like it, there's no signs of rot it looks like a healthy bulb so I'm hoping um, it will come back because we didn't get a we didn't get a very cold winter and we didn't and uh we didn't get a wet spring not as of yet anyway and it's what may 9th so <laughs> i don't think it's uh it's it's possible to have a, a very wet um spring at this point um, at least without the heat that will allow these bulbs to sprout and things to grow at the same time Um, I recently did a uh, dandelion, uh, I don't know what I want to call the uh, the method of killing dandelions, killing weeds on the, on the lawn, but um, we'll call it cross-cutting, <laughs> cross-cutting your, your um, lawn weeds with your shovel, a simple and cheap method. Um, that I'm trying out I'm doing an experiment and I'm doing a separate video on that if you want to give it a check out uh, put the link in the description and at the end of this video yep that's ice <laughs> May 9th we got scallions <laughs> planted seeds ice and even some snow I don't know if you could see it sometimes this, the flakes are the snowflakes are bigger than others so I closed down my well, one of my greenhouses and um, brought in a lot of well all the uh, plants that were cuttings and planted um, containers that were in the garage so I should I should drain the water it's gonna freeze <laughs> It may freeze, I don't know, it's warm in here. I didn't bring a thermometer in yet, but um, I don't know what we're supposed to go down to. So it's better to keep no water and then just keep monitoring. If it gets dry, to add a little bit. They don't need that much right now if it's pretty chilly. So yeah, um, too cold in the garage. Like it was already a bit cool. Well, actually, no, it was nice until this cold air came in. It was actually warmer in the garage than outside, probably because of the wind chill. Uh, but no sun, so not very good for the cuttings because they had buds. They have buds, so I want, 
I uh, just decided to keep them out here in the uh, in the sun. <clears throat> That's uh, the orange bean. That bean vine um, has the hummingbirds like. I forgot what the strain is called now, but uh, I grew them um, last summer in hanging baskets and uh, pretty good. So I planted both of those pots, those hanging baskets, I mean, with uh, the same peas, our beans. Um, they're not organic, I don't believe. Don't don't remember now. I got them a couple years ago. So we'll see if the seeds will still even uh, sprout. But I also put some uh, morning glory in there to complement or to compete one or the other. <laughs> Should we bloom? Should we not? I'm covering up this volunteer plant. Still not sure what it is. But it looks like uh, a bean or pea that I planted. Um, last year or even two years ago squirrels still digging in here despite this fresh rose clipping and some other thorn these other thorny sticks unbelievable I don't see any uh, morning glory yet probably not hot enough See how the old house is doing. Whoa. It's about 20 degrees. That's awesome. And May 12. quick peek in here how oh, it's going no flower sprouts yet um, but what I'm going to do wow there's actually ice up top here from overnight wow um what I'm going to do today is I don't know at 20 degrees so for those of you who haven't uh, been following these are all um, there's a couple of veggies here on this tray um, mostly flowers cuttings um, all the back corner back there cutting there these are this is a, a maple tree baby and this is um, a little like bush thing those are some hanging baskets I'm prepping some other clipping baby clippings and I'm, I'm uh, experimenting to see if they will if they will catch because they're super small it's another basket of morning glory so I was thinking of opening the bottom of this, the bottom um, plastic, and putting compost under there to heat this up for during the night. But um, I'm, I'm wondering if it's that would be necessary, since there's a huge difference during the day, which tells me that uh, there might not be such a big difference overnight. And it's dropping drops to about three degrees overnight, so. If we're sitting at around zero or one overnight, it's not so bad. So I'll have to see and make a decision about that. Okay, so uh, 
I'm covering this flower bed uh, because it's going to be actually going to negative six tonight. And I don't know what that's going to be with the wind chill or the humidity. There's a creek right behind the fence. So uh, just to protect tulips and daffodils there and other uh, perennials and flowers and bushes that are popping up. And I don't want them to, uh, to uh, have like slowed growth or stunted growth and or uh, ugly deformed leaves frostbitten scarred leaves throughout the summer so so it's gonna take me a little bit more material and um here are my seedlings on may 12th A lot of the new ones are, they came in pretty strong, thicker stems and um, darker leaves. I um, think I did add some uh, coffee, uh, diluted uh, coffee grind. I um, basically just scrap the uh, the um, filter with, with the grind in it. I, um, I just... Uh, turned over a bottle of water on it and held it there and it, and it just kind of dripped out slowly and I put it around uh, I don't remember which plants so I, I don't I can't even say for sure that that's why um, these seedlings are darker green um, two uh, tomatoes are still struggling from they're hanging in there I don't know what's gonna happen I have to wait and see. There's a, this cherry tomato is doing really good, but it was never outside yet. That's why. Uh, that's why I lost those ones. Waiting on uh, more organic onion. I think yeah, I got some sprout there. The yes, scallions. So what else? I've been running the fan um, pretty frequently, at least a couple of times a day. I'll probably be uh, planting this potato as soon as I get a chance. And no other, no other sprouts. I've been wet, uh, keeping them in the sun and wetting them, but no, uh, no new buds that have uh, popped out recently since uh, the last update. What else? Uh, I put this aluminum thing here, scrap, uh, one-time use pan, uh, opposite of of that bulb just to reflect uh, to maximize the amount of light being used in here um, this bulb is not that strong it's um, it's uh, I don't remember the wattage now it's super hot but it is a, a broad spectrum I remember that and I think they call it a white uh, like daylight 